All right there guys, this is G from Underdog Anglers. Just getting ready to go out and film episode one of The Tall Tale. Nice little fishing show we've got coming for you here on our channel. Uh, so keep tuned in for more about that. I'm getting my particles ready at the moment and I don't just chuck them all in a bucket, pour some water on them and soak them for 24 hours, um, which is sort of standard uh, preparation as it were. Um, mostly because I think the beans deserve a little bit more than that. Um, I've got here, I've got some chickpeas at the back, there's a kilo and a half of chickpeas, they're going to be the, the bait. And then at the front I've got some tears and some hemp. I'm going to put them in one bucket and prepare them separately to everything else because I want some to go in my mixture obviously but I also want to keep a few back. Um, maybe just put some loose bags of pure hemp out there, um, give me that little bit of edge if I think I need it. Uh, into that I'm going to put a kilo of soya bean, they're great loads of protein in them and they absorb flavour and colour quite nicely as well if you wanted to want to colour them up. Uh, as well as that I've got some pinto beans, half a kilo of them. Um, when these are done these look lovely, kind of um, browny speckly sort of colours, look like chrysalises on the bottom of the lake or snail shells that sort of thing. Um, and on top of that I'm going to add some haricot beans. Okay, These are what are used in baked beans to be honest with you so you know they take on colour quite nicely because they're pink when we eat them and they're carp loving. Now these three over here um, take 24 hours to cook or to soak rather and these guys down here take about 18. Any more than that and they start to go a bit sort of mushy and I like to keep that sort of nice texture on the outside with the soft and squidginess on the inside um, so I'm not going to soak them for 24 hours. These guys here carping little secrets We've got some black truffle beans and we've got some mung beans. Okay, see those guys over there as well. Um, now these lovely green colour. That camera over here. Oh, when they're done, they get a beautiful sort of colour. Add a lot of texture and flavour to your particle mix. If you're using those green um, green lip mussel pellets, they go lovely with them as well. Just add to it, contributing lovely. Black turtle beans. These guys. I don't know if you can see them close up on the camera there dark black little white spot when they're cooked up properly they um, they look like hemp giant giant massive hemp so I'm going to cook them up add a little hemp flavor to them as well give them a bit more bonus juice help with the trickery now all of these guys so my chickpeas my hemp my tears my soya beans my haricot beans and my pinto beans we're all going to cook in about 30 40 minutes okay these two, the last two that I mentioned, the mung beans and the tuttle beans, um, upwards of 90 minutes, nearly two hours, 90 minutes to two hours of prep time, which is why they're overlooked a lot by a lot of the other carp anglers, because they just can't be bothered to spend that amount of time cooking and prepping their beans. All right, but we're going to catch some fish, and I want everything to be perfect, so I'm getting the big guns out. Into that, I'm adding some birdseed mixture and some more buckwheat. Okay, now these only take six hours to soak and cook up in about 20, 20 minutes, 20, 25 minutes. Um, so they're going to go into the mixture right at the end and there's only six hours of soaking time left and probably going to get nice and mushy by the time they've all soaked up. But with these being the little ones, I'm not too concerned about that. Okay, so let's go crack on with this then. Add in my kilo of hemp to my kilo of tears. Out of the way for a second. Have a good mix round. Right, I'm going to add some water oh, in there. Let's get the G come over. You see that in there a lot? Plenty of water. Plenty of water in there. Alright, now into that. I'm going to add Two mil of fos oil. Okay. 
two mil of activate. <coughs> nice little sweetener. And two and a half mil of feeds the next feed. Okay. Put that in there, give that a mix round. Pop the lid on. back to that one Ooh, in 24 hours time now this one Ooh. Ooh. again let me show you there a lot decent depth of water on it a little bit more for that there we go And again, the same little mixture. That's the floss oil. That's the activate. And that's the Fuse Dim XP. That's with mix round. And come back to that in 24 hours. Alright, now the big bucket there, I'm going to add into that the soya beans and all this lot here a few hours' time. Okay, and then add these seed mixtures much later on towards the end. These guys, these can get prepped separately. Exactly the same as you've just seen there though, into a bucket with water, with a bit of Foss Aid activate, Foss oil activated and feeds some XP, then soak in that and then come back to boil them up later. So I'll get back to you when it's time to do that. Bye for now. Uh, welcome back, welcome to the cooking stage. Caught me mid preparation. I have two giant pots of beans on the go. Uh, my main beans pinto beans, the uh, harlot beans, the chickpeas, soya beans, they're all cooking away in there. Um, at the front there is my buckwheat that's got about 10 minutes left of cooking time. Then that leaves me with the uh, black turtle beans, the mung beans, <coughs> lovely little green bean these are. See how black that water's gone. These beans are lovely, lovely dark black, perfectly sort of colour. But just like those rain beetles and um, chrysalises on the floor. And then obviously I've got my hemp to cook as well. So I'm going to be here for a little while, cooking my way through all of this, uh, and I'll get back to you at the end and show you what it looks like when it's all put together. <coughs> Just thought I'd take this opportunity to show you the uh, party form mix that we were making. So uh, check this bad boy out. Look at that. Tell me that that's not coffee. Lots and lots of different beans. You saw me prep them all. The only thing different I did that you didn't see was the turtle beans, those black beans had finished um, cooking. Drained all the water off straight away. I poured about 200 mils of uh, hemp oil over them, put them in a sealed tub got to be a real tight tub so the lid doesn't pop off and what that does is the pressure builds up inside inside because the beans are really warm forces the oil back inside the beans so now when they do it the water they're going to be just like giant hemp and lovely lovely coffee particles so all i've got left to do to this is pour on some flavorings i've got some mgt bait attractors i'm going to put on the squid he's coming lovely 50 mil bottles, so that's 50 mils of squid and 50 mils of halibut give that a stir around coffee goodness lovely 
Right, it's time to go and get this spotted out. So, catch you guys later. Bye.